Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how I solved the issue with uh, preserving the creased edges uh, created in 3ds Max and then uh, saved as exported as OBJ file and imported in ZBrush. Uh, I came up with this solution after watching the tutorial on how to create uh, this treasure chest in Maya and then uh, modify it in detail in ZBrush and in Maya we have uh, this crease option that uh, creases the, the edges that we select and then after we import it in the ZBrush uh, these edges remain creased after we uh, divide the subtool. In 3ds Max we don't have the same uh, the same options for creasing but in my opinion after walking through the tutorial and watching the issues that came up with Maya, in my opinion the 3ds Max even has better solution for this kind of uh, issue. So let me show you how I made this happen. So uh, after I modeled the chest, I uh, saved it on the low poly uh, layer and then duplicated and made a high poly layer. And uh, on high poly layer, we can see. I have the same the same subtools, but the turbo smooth is applied to them, and the iteration is on four. If we check this isoline display, uh, we can see more clearly what we have here. Um, I just uh, selected the edges that I wanted to remain creased after I uh, applied the turbo smooth and after I selected the edges I just went down to this crease uh, this crease option now I already have the one set but uh, after we apply the one crease and then apply the turbo smooth uh, modifier to it we can see the edges that their, their crease was applied to remain sharp and the edges that were not uh, that were remained with crease on the zero are curved so this is basically the this is basically it you just have to select the edges then uh, set the crease to 1, apply turbo smooth to it, uh, then go to iteration for 4, for example. So you have this really tight mesh applied to your object. And after you done uh, the same on all the all your subtools, you just select them all go to export export selected and name it and choose obj choose obj and then you just save it i already have i already have a copy of it so i'm going just to overwrite it then you can select the preset the ZBrush is on the bottom of the list and just uh, click export and this is going to happen and after it's done you have this button down here and you shouldn't have any uh, additional button here that would say warnings or problems I think uh, because if you have them you should uh, 
click on them and check which which subtool is causing the problem because you don't want to have triangles in your subtools because ZBrush doesn't really want to work with uh, triangles so be be careful with that so if we have this uh, done and uh, and it seems like it's all, uh, everything it's okay we just click done and this is pretty much it uh, I would like to point out that uh, the benefit of doing this in uh, 3ds Max is after you apply the Turbo Smooth uh, modifier to your sub tool, you can see how the uh, how the sub tool is going to look like. So you you generally get the preview on how the subtool is going to look like after you subdivide it in ZBrush. Uh, this is great because you can uh, you can set uh, the appropriate edges to remain creased. But I would like to point out that if we select this top uh, part. And we can see it's not; it's only uh, it's flat. It has it has no uh, depth, uh, so it's only have has one 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 plate, or how should I put it? Uh, and after you in 3ds Max apply a Turbo Smooth to such objects that are not like box or something that are just planes, uh, the Turbo Smooth sometimes doesn't. Uh, it keeps it, it it keeps everything uh, just uh, creased as you can see here. Uh, but you should be aware that ZBrush, after subdividing uh, the plane subtools, will deform them anyway. So you have to in 3ds Max, uh, just as I did before with other parts like boxes and, uh, and stuff uh, you have to select the edges the edges uh, th these outer part outer edges and crease them uh, to one and then then apply turbo smooth and set the iteration to three or four so uh, this is one issue the other issue that I uh, came up with is this uh, is this that uh, after applying Turbo Smooth we sometimes get uh, really distorted uh, quads here we have nice quads not perfect but nice quads uh, but if we would have uh, But if we would have uh, less uh, edges applied on this on this part, just let me show you what I mean. Uh, come on. And now when we apply the Rubus mode, we can see. We don't we don't get uh, nice quads. We get these stretch quads, which are which are not uh, which are not great, uh, because in ZBrush, when we apply modifiers such as noise, uh, this won't work good, because it will distort the vertices, and vertices are pretty much far apart, and you will get this messed up uh, uh, messed up. Uh, result so after we apply the additional edges we get the nicer quad uh, uh, distortion so this is pretty much it in 3ds Max I would like to point out some issues in ZBrush when we open ZBrush and we import our OBJ that we uh, exported from uh, 3ds Max. 
we can see you can you have it uh, imported in the tool section just click and drag holding shift you can align it to the center then click uh, T on the keyboard to make it uh, editable then now we can see in subtools we we have only one subtool uh, this is okay for the purpose of displaying the double sided because on the default the ZBrush does not uh, does not display uh, all the all the object uh, double sided as you can see here it looks like it's transparent and it's not you can see it, it has the other part but it's not showing that is uh, not what we want especially for this plain uh, sides that way that way we should always click on double and we can see the problem is solved. We should do this before we uh, divide the subtool here, before we split the the tool, pressing on group split and on OK. And now we can see we have all these all these. Um, Subtools created, which is great, and we have all the sides visible because we uh, turned on the double on display properties when we had the one subtool uh, from the default. Now, if we uh, shift F, we can see we can see our uh, polyframes and now if we would like we can uh, subdivide them or reconstruct subdivisions I will turn off uh, because sometimes it crashes and we can see we get these uh, subdivisions and if we click the shift F again and press the D shift D we can scroll up and down on the on the divisions that we created. We can also make more uh, subdivisions. Uh, it is it is smart to uh, shut off the smooth modifier and subdivide some more. You can see now we have really dense uh, Now even it doesn't even show. I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, we can see it has seven uh, subdivision levels now. So this is pretty much it. That's how I solved the issue with creasing the edges in 3ds Max and then importing the objects into into ZBrush. The reason that I uh, used the low poly uh, is after I modified uh, the object in the ZBrush, I can apply it to the model without turbo smooth modifier applied to them. So, this is pretty much it. I hope you learned something new, and till next time, bye.